Okay, back on Pet Corner with me now is Kelly McFarlane. It's great to get to chat with you, Kelly, because usually this is Mel's job. I know, you're in the hot seat today. I love, I, look, I love animals, and I love what you've been talking about recently, animals abroad and how we can look after them. I've got to admit, just every time I've gone to Fiji, you usually bring some home. So is that what we're talking about today? <laughs> if you want to bring them home, I'm sure you can. But, um, but yes, generally it's about volunteering and ways to yeah, pretty much help places overseas that need it. So what does Animals Fiji do? So they're a charity that was set up by um, a lady called Casey and they pretty much, um, they do a variation of work actually, so they do outreach programs, so they get out into all the villages, make sure that the animals are looked after with preventative health care, um, certainly promote de-sexing of the pets over there and on the flip side as well, sadly they do also deal with some cruelty cases as well, which is a shame, but it's part and parcel of rescue I'm afraid. So what were you able to do with them? Um, I was quite lucky, so I, being a veterinary nurse anyway, um, that, that's obviously one of my skills, but I actually went over there doing, um, helping the team with um, training them to teach the puppies. Um, oh, so, cute. Yeah, yeah, so I got all the fun stuff. So it was, yeah, teaching the puppies how to sit, um, you know, learning their names. Um, we also helped the, the pups get used to kind of being in the veterinary um, area, so they used to being on the table, um, getting the team as well to practice their handling skills as well, which is really important so again just educating the team as well and yeah seeing how they interact. How, how did you find out about them? Um, I, well, good old Google, of course. Oh, yeah, nice. yeah. And, got the uh, passion. That's yeah. right. And yeah. so a few years ago, I was um, heading over there on holiday and kind of just wanted to look at, at what I could possibly do. And um, and it all kind of stemmed from there. And I built that relationship then with with Casey. So in the past, I've um, kind of designed some handouts for them as well, which they give out. And very fortunately, this time um, the clinic I also work for, um, I'm going to give them a plug, but North Shore Veterinary Emergency Clinic and Critical Care donated a lot of medication as well that I could take over. So, yeah. Brilliant. Would you recommend this to any animal lover? I mean, you're qualified, so you could obviously offer services. What if we weren't qualified and we just wanted to help out? The thing is, a lot of these charities, it, it's just get in contact with them, find out what right. you can offer. You know, even you know, for example, if you're a graphic designer, they might just need some flyers, um, you know, kind of designing for them. Um, if you're really good at administration, because there's always lots of paperwork, again, they might, you know, you could go there, or it could even just be something as simple as, you know, just go and hang out with the animals and give them a bit of a cuddle. Okay, what's another way we can help? Because people love to help out, especially with animals. So if you're not on holiday, is there some how else you can help? Yeah, I mean, for some people. People, you know, again, if they can't physically do something, it might be that they can donate certain, um, whether it's, you know, sponsor one of the animals, um, you can actually donate blankets or toys. Um, you know, for, for these kind of charities, it's sometimes the, the oddest thing that they need. I mean, there was a, a couple that arrived when I was then, donated a whole heap of almost like electrical tape, you know. So wow. sometimes it, it can be something that you don't even necessarily think about. So, you know, go onto their website, check out wish lists and, um, yeah, see, see how you can kind of donate something. Okay, or well, you know, for those that want to go and volunteer locally, because most of us just go and sip cocktails by the pool, <laughs> what if we actually really wanted to go over and spend a couple of weeks helping out? Do they, do they appreciate it? Are they grateful? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, I, I, I'm a great believer that we all have something to offer, right. no matter what that is. And um, I think, you know, all you need to do is just get in touch, find out what it is they require at that time. Um, you know, there, are, there have been things I've looked at in the past and it's either time has not been quite right or my skills weren't quite there. And, um, but as I say, you know, it's just finding out what do they need and, and can you actually help them at the time. And as I say, sometimes it's as simple as checking out what's on their wish list and donate a, an item. Um, you know, it all goes a really long way. And you're going to be heading back there soon. Uh, have you got planned what you're going to be doing? There's always plans. I'm not sure yet, but right. um, but yeah, I definitely do want to go back, and and certainly I'd like to do a lot more with the team. They're a fantastic team um, at the Animals Fiji. They work really, really hard, um, and they're very much about education. You know, educating the local people, and I think that's just fantastic. So, I love, I love yeah. it. You know, because we spend a lot of time looking after people, so good to be looking after some animals on the you know other side of the ocean as yeah. well. Thank you so much, Thank Kelly. You. Really appreciate it. Some great advice there, and a reminder that our pet corner sponsor, you can Uber, are giving away to our cafe view is a $20 voucher off your next purchase of You Can Uber Drive Food. Now to download the voucher, just go to youcanuber.co.nz slash the cafe.